Chamber of Commerce is obviously working really hard with the business community and our networks to ensure that we are, are the networks, the governments are hearing uh, what is needed for the business community. Um, and we're, we're very engaged in this whole process. Uh, one thing I did want to point out is locally, we've done a survey, uh, we've called um, a few hundred local businesses. And through that survey and in our own internal investigation, we've, we've uh, compiled a list of businesses that um, uh, are open or partially opened or not open. And we've got that available on our website, uh, albernichamber.ca, right on the landing page. Uh, it's what's called an Airtable file, but you can scroll through it and you can see if you wanted to order from a certain restaurant or whatever, you can see whether they're offering those services or not. And that list is being updated constantly. We have about 110 businesses on it right now and many more to go as we learn about them. So um, it's a good place to go for local inf information. Um, with respect to the chamber, we are ag again engaged with the Canadian chamber and the BC chamber. Uh, we really encourage businesses to um, Try and connect with us. Um, we've got up to the date, up to date information on programs available, how to apply, uh, some of the, um, you know, the parameters within the application process and such things. There's a little bit of misinformation out there. Uh, we encourage you to be careful, and um, uh, perhaps link through ourselves or City of Port Alberni, some of the major uh, uh, organizations that should have up to date and accurate information. So again, um, albernichamber.ca or my own email address, bill at albernichamber.ca and I will respond to any request whatsoever. Uh, our thanks to the health workers and frontline people. Everybody is doing a really good job and we're very impressed. Thank you very much for that.